Daddy got you. Not mommy, daddy. From mama? No, 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 no. Mommy had nothing to do with it. Well, she wrapped it, but daddy bought it with money from his back breaking job. Let's see, let's see. Look, it's one of those mutant ninja, caveman ninja teenage thingies. <laughs> I picked it out by myself for you, just for you. It's from dad. Ribbon. Mama got me ribbon. Ho ho, hi, hi, hi. I'm your green grocer with this week's special that's a food chain. Look at these summer slugs. They're big, they're juicy, they're slimy. Oh, pop them in your mouth and leave a trail all the way down your throat. Yum, yum. $1.95 a pound. Hey, on those hot summer days, nothing says refreshment like frozen rat on a stick. Mmm, boy, my grandkids mm. love them. Whoa, ho! Beep, beep. <laughs> Gourmet alert. <laughs> Grab the lights up. Back. The sweetest tasting, furriest little animals in the world. They used to be plentiful, but now they're in short supply. So get that here, because ha, when these crap lights are gone, maybe they're gone. Shouldn't you be on your way to the store? For what? Well, isn't your anniversary coming up? Yeah, so? Your 20th anniversary. Could be. That's the crap light anniversary, dude. I know that. What makes you think I don't know that? You gotta have more faith in your old man, Charlene. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, look at that. Hey, look, look at the time. I gotta go buy a set of tires. <laughs> Me and your mom's anniversary. I got the last two. Great. Earl, is that you? No. <laughs> uh, Heidi's from your mom. Huh? Okay, I'm coming, friend. Oh, boy. Uh, 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 shouldn't you be hiding us? Can't you see he's thinking? I'm merely reminding him of his responsibility to his father. Now be quiet. Hey, I'm trying to write a paper here, okay? We've offended him. What's your paper about? Oh, it's none of our business. It's hmm? a social studies paper, and it's not going very well. Why dinosaurs rule the Earth? We're big. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that really bites, doesn't it? Well, there's certainly no denying that size allows the dinosaur almost unlimited benefits. Of course, the duality of nature dictates that for every benefit, there must be a cost. Don't, Don't you, you agree? agree? Uh, well, I, uh... <gasps> We've lost him. So try an illustration. Of course. Mm -hmm. Why is it good to be big? Mm -hmm. Well, we get to eat whoever we want. Uh, no offense. No, oh, none taken. However, if we don't plan for the future, there won't be any more food. That would be the cost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, no more food? Uh, there's always more. That's what more means. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Imagine that these are all the grapes in the world. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so? Mm -hmm. Now, suppose that you eat all the grapes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Okay, now what? Now, suppose you want grapes tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll go to the market and get some. But those were all the grapes in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, then I'll mm -hmm. have to eat something else. Oh, well, you rule the world. A world without grapes. So, 
You're saying if we eat them all, there won't be any more. I think he understands. Ah. Huh. I can stretch that to 500 words easy. Or maybe he doesn't. Hmm. You guys can help me with my homework every day. Okay. Or at least until Mom and Dad's anniversary. Hmm? Huh. Tuesday night, boys' night out. Yeah. What's it gonna be? Hey, how about bowling? Bowling! Yeah! yeah! Uh, guess I'll keep the score again. Hey, Roy, you could try kicking the ball down the alley. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's rich. Yeah, you know, have you know it's tough being a Tyrannosaurus? Anyway, I'm very good at soccer. Yeah. Hey, are you in, Earl? Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. No, that's Fran's anniversary. Yeah. Mine, too, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so then we'll see you at eight? Oh, no. <laughs> this is the big one. The 20th anniversary Wrap the Light Dinner. Oh. You got Wrap the Lights? Yeah, two juicy ones. Uh, the last two they had. I remember the days when I was a kid. 99 cents they got for a dozen. I paid eight ninety nine each. Well, that's because you can't find them around much anymore. Yeah, they're a rare yeah. delicacy now. But boy, they are the sweetest tasting things in the world. Yeah, I must eat a million of them. Mm, me too. Mm, me too. <laughs> I wonder where they all went. Mm. Mm, we'll never know. You might just have the last two in the world there. You lucky guy. Yeah. Sinclair! Oh. In here now! You wanted to see me, my captain? I hear you got your 20th anniversary coming up, Sinclair. How suspiciously cordial of you to take an interest, sir. And the wife's probably looking forward to that crap delight dinner, right? I'm, I'm sure she is, sir. Yeah, a little wine, candlelight, and... And those crap delights are going to taste so sweet and satisfying. Mm. You and the wife will probably look each other in the eye and tell each other how very much in love you still are. And who knows? Maybe even take a little trip upstairs and... <laughs> <Ha>! <laughs> 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 Everybody's out of them. You got them, I want them. You don't give them to me, I'm going to bite off your head. I can't give them to you, sir. They're for my wife. If she didn't get them, she'd be very unhappy. How much is your wife's happiness worth to you, Sinclair? <sighs> well, uh, I see what you're getting at there, sir. Um... Mr. Richfield, but uh, no amount of money is worth taking this away from my wife. My wife's happiness means the world to me. Here's 50 bucks. It's a small world, after all. But, but with all due respect, you know, there is the matter of my own personal dignity, sir. You only get one 20th anniversary, and if I sell you my graptolites, how much is my personal dignity worth? I got another twenty-three dollars for your personal dignity. That should cover it. <laughs> oh, and what about my self-respect? I think we've taken care of that. Oh, good. <laughs> Thanks for everything. I got an F. Oh, careful. Hey. Uh, huh? Here, here. Oh, sorry. I didn't uh, see you. Oh, you first. Oh, oh. Huh? he seems distressed. I hope it's nothing we've done. Oh. Why dinosaurs rule the earth. And I wrote a whole essay about what you guys said about how we're too wise to eat all the grapes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look what the teacher wrote. Mm -hmm. oh. There'll always be more grapes. That's what more means. <gasps> An F. Huh? 
But just because the teacher doesn't understand doesn't mean you fail. Oh, no. Stanley Kravitz got an A. Well, what did he write? Hmm? He wrote, because we're big. That was my answer. I had the right answer, and I let you guys talk me out of it. Why did I let you talk me out of it? Because it's wrong. Hmm. Yeah, but the teacher thinks it's right. Mm -hmm. Well, what if the teacher's wrong? Mm. Yeah, right. What if the teacher's wrong? I try that on my parents all the time, and it never works. Anyway, the teacher said there would always be enough grapes, and there would always be enough of everything. Then she called me a radical. But there's not always going to be enough of everything. Mm -mm. Uh, leave me alone. I already flunked once, and that's what I get for letting food do my homework. <gasps> Robbie, we're the last two grapes. Mm. What? That's why they can't find any more of us. Mm. There aren't any. We're the last of our kind. Mm. Uh, how can that be? Because we're delicious. <laughs> the parents are going to eat you tomorrow night, and then there won't be any more of you at all. Oh, oh boy. Yes. What a blow to your teacher. Oh. Well, you guys should try to escape or something. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, we need to help you with your paper. It's uh, very important. Yes, very. But this is your last night on Earth. Forget the paper. The assignment is over. No, it's not. Not if you don't know the answer yet. No, no. Here, Robbie. Mm. Try it again. Okay. Now, why do dinosaurs rule the Earth? Mm. Why? Robbie! <gasps> uh oh, that's your father. Happy anniversary! Shh. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Robbie, give me the grab delight. Uh, <laughs> You know, one minute the Graptolites were here, and the next minute they were gone. I I guess they must have run into the woods. <laughs> Why do you always do this to me? I can't breathe, Dad. Yeah, yeah, we all got problems. Uh, oh, please. <coughs> uh, see, uh, so, so, so they got away, you know, and if Mom could see how upset you are, she'd know how much you wanted her to have those Graptolites, and how much you love her, and that's the only present she'll need. Well, that's the only present she's going to get. I sold the Graptolites to Mr. Richfield for 73 bucks. You sold Mom's anniversary gift? He was going to bite off my head. Dad, where's your self-respect? I had to throw that in to close the deal. Ah, uh, it's... And now they're running around the woods unprotected. Ah. Uh... I've got to find those poor little sweet creatures before somebody else eats them for free. Yeah. Boy, your father seems to be under a lot of stress. It's because of us, you know. Mm. Yeah. Perhaps we should turn ourselves in and accept our fate. Hmm? No! One cannot avoid one's destiny, Robert. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One can try. Your whole species is at stake. Why am I the only one willing to fight for it? Perhaps that is your destiny. You seem to have a keen sense of moral responsibility. And one who runs from his responsibility can only become a slave to shallow and materialistic goals. Mm -hmm. Aha! Aha! Dad promised me a dollar if I found them. Huh. <sighs> I get the dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you two dollars if you keep your mouth shut, okay? Ooh, I'm sure if you'd go two, Dad'd go three. Ah. Uh, Who are you? We're the Graptolites. Yes. Who are you? Oh, I'm the baby. Gotta love me. Oh, pleased uh, to meet uh, you. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the innocence of children. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the unbridled spirit of youth. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Give me that. Here's what it feels like. Hey! <coughs> hey! <laughs> Again! What? Yeah, yeah, yeah! <coughs> oh! <laughs> Again! Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here. <laughs> Easiest money I ever made. Yeah, yeah, fine. Just get out. <sighs> Bye. Bye! Ugh. 
I don't know what mm -hmm. came over me. Mm. I love children. Mm. Do you have any? What? Children. Hey, mm. you could keep the species alive if you had children. I mean, you know, providing that one of you guys is a girl. Not that you don't have a really nice figure, whichever one of you, uh, might be a girl. <laughs> I'm the female. Mm. So why don't you have children? He's never even asked me out to dinner. <laughs> There's no time for dinner. You guys are dinner. Time is not the issue, Robert. We don't believe this is a safe world to bring up children. Especially delicious children. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. maybe we can make it safer for you and your children. You know, before me, nobody knew what you guys had to offer. I could tell other dinosaurs. His optimism is encouraging. Mm -hmm. But is it justified? Now, now, mm -hmm. who should I tell first? Oh, hmm. how about your father? Uh, no. <laughs> Robbie, what are our chances if you can't convince your own father? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Here, little Craftolite. Come on, you little furry fellas. My boss wants to meet you. <laughs> Dad, I've got something for you. <gasps> Robbie, you found him. Way to save your dad's life. <laughs> D Dad, your graptolites are the last two in the world. You can't give them to Mr. Richfield. But Robbie, he paid for them. They belong to him. Really. But but they're not just food. They know stuff. The world will be worse off when they're gone. Why? Well, they showed me that there are other creatures in the world that are, well, maybe not as important as dinosaurs, but it's important that they be here. And you believe that? They trust us to do the right thing, Dad. Boy, you try to make a couple extra bucks for your family, and what do you get? A burning moral dilemma from your son. How dare he put this on me? Well, perhaps it's just that he believes in you. And how do you know? Well, you know how he feels about us. And mm -hmm. still, he gave us to you willingly. Willingly? Yes. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't show faith in you, I don't know what does. Food for thought. Thought from food. Are you guys really going extinct? Any minute now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I have a big decision to make here, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hate those. Sinclair! Uh -huh. Entry with the entree. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, you guys, oh, get back in the box. Oh, oh. Come on, watch it. Oh. Hurry up, Sinclair! I'm salivating all over my desk! Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Mr. Richfield. Uh, I, I've decided that these graptolites are not for sale. What? Here's your money, Peck. Sinclair, you dog. You got the nerve to put the squeeze on me? I like it! I respect it! Name your new price. There is no price. You stink at this, Sinclair! These are the last two graptolites on Earth. If you eat them, there aren't any more. Forever! So I'm sorry if you're angry, but I made my decision. Angry? Well, I'm not angry, Sinclair. I'm, I'm appalled. I had no idea. Then you understand? Oh, I am deeply touched by the sad plight of these poor, poor creatures. I want to help them. Well, that's not necessary, sir. I'll just take them home so my son can protect them. Well, your, your son may be well-intentioned, but he, like you, is a simple individual, and then you simple individuals do not have the vast resources to accomplish 
good in the world. Well, who does? Corporations, such as this one. Good can only happen in this world when individuals put their trust in corporations. We'll take care of your little friends. Oh, gosh. Mr. Richfield, corporations really do that? Corporations do. So, what do I do? Hand them to me. You've done the right thing. Um, uh, buy yourself something nice. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Gee, who'd have ever thought a corporation would be compassionate and caring? <laughs> Why dinosaurs rule the Earth? Hmm. Huh? What? Dad, come here. Check this out. I promise. Happy anniversary, Fran. Happy anniversary, Earl. Gucci <laughs> goo. Baby. Baby. Thank <laughs> you.